Hi everybody, um, this is my first video doing a voiceover and I hope this isn't going to be weird at all, um, but basically I wanted to kind of run through what I was doing with the piece, how I got around to it, explain a little bits and pieces. Um, obviously initially started with just a nice simple pencil sketch, um, just blocking in all the features of the panda, or should I say red panda. Um, giving everything just like a blue layer to begin with just so it's easier to play around the shadows and essentially it's just developing colour from there um, starting with opposites of red and such and it just really picking out all the different colours that I had in my reference photo now the reason why I did a red panda was because the other week um, I went to Chester Zoo and <laughs> literally just went on a spree of just taking photos of all the animals. Uh, the last thing I got to see was a red panda. Um, we completely forgot about it and we were um, just about to leave and I just thought, red panda! It just like came into my head thinking, I haven't seen it and I had to run to a map to try and find where it was and it was near closing time so <laughs> me and my boyfriend had to sprint to the other end of the zoo just to capture a glimpse of it and at that point my battery was dying on my camera because I'd been using it that much that day. So I was trying to get like, a cute little video clip of it um, but I forgot I set everything to manual so <laughs> everything was blurry and trying to get a photo of it because it was constantly moving was so difficult. Um, I think I only managed to get one semi decent photo. Uh, I should have put it all to manual, I shouldn't have tried to be clever about it that day. Not when the camera <laughs> was that close to death. Um, but oh, it was so lovely and you could get so close to it. It was literally just like an arm's reach away. Um, you know, out um, in open air in front of you. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> like I said, it was just really tricky to get a shot of it. Um, I'll try and insert a video of <laughs> of me trying to get it during one of its little uh, walk paths but oh, it was so difficult um, as it's one of my favourite animals I decided it will be a great animal to try and paint just get some practice done and have a little play around with colours um, I really like the way this turned out in the end um, the very end product looks a little bit different to um, what is what you're seeing as a speed paint at the moment. Um, when I was filming this uh, time lapse, it looked very blue. I was filming it on the GoPro and I was trying to change the settings to really make it stand out, and I was losing so much of the detail, I was really worried <laughs> that it wasn't going to come out very good. Um, so you'll notice the colours shift to a green when I do the uh, final image. Um, that's how it is in real life. I tried to get it as close as possible to what it was. Um, but yeah, just really happy. It was very random the way I was kind of doing this. I didn't have like a set plan of um, this was going here and that was going there. Um, it was just a case of winging it the entire way. Um, depending on what colours I used and got so far with the painting and I'm just thinking it wasn't really, um, didn't have a pop to it. So I grabbed my watercolour pencils uh, near in the end and just kind of highlighting areas, uh, darkening certain areas up, giving it a good line over everything, just so it really stood out against the actual background. And yeah, I just really loved the way it came out. I wanted to keep it nice and simple, um, make it look not cartoonish but a very very illustrative feel just it looks a lot more playful and I feel like it really suits the look of the panda and yeah really pleased um, I hope that you liked the video hope it wasn't weird me talking over and I hope it wasn't too mumbly um, Tell me if you like these kind of videos. I always like watching commentary videos myself. I just find it a lot more engaging than just listening to music or having something on mute. 
Um, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and you'll be seeing more of this kind of thing as I really want to get into it. Cool. Bye.